My name is Becky Snyder and I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. I mean, I love to sing when I'm driving and I'm talking like American Idol going all out, having a concert in my car. But during the pandemic, that kind of joy was missing in Becky's life. Getting out and seeing people was really important for me. And I was already sort of really secluded and you, know, you can't go to church, you couldn't go here, you can't go there. And so you're, you're home and you're in confined spaces with people and situations. My mom's working from home and she has um, some early onset dementia. You know, I'm, I hadn't seen my dad in forever and I always see him a couple times a year and it's all that stuff just starts to little by little like weigh on you. Lonely and exhausted, Becky was in desperate need of some hope. God revived her at our first ever Love Life Girls Night in with Joyce. More than 35,000 women from all over the world registered for the event. It was an awesome night of fellowship, worship, and the Word. And to be in a platform where the music was uplifting, the words were uplifting, the speakers were uplifting, and to really feel like you weren't in all of that all by yourself was really nice. I felt lighter. I felt lighter. I, that's the best way I would know how to describe it because I just had so much positivity flowing through me that all the hard stuff just dissipated and all I had was this beautiful experience. Although Becky's circumstances didn't change, she was changed by the gospel. The words thank you don't ever seem to suffice in situations like this. You know, even if I ever was to meet Joyce, I, I just, ha, ha, there's no words for it. The peace that you get from things like that is, even if it's only for a couple of hours, it's still enough to sort of replenish that hope reservoir inside of you. And sometimes a little hope is all you really need. And this event was only one of the ways we shared the good news together. Thank you for sharing the hope of Christ with Becky and millions of others all over the world, spreading God's word through Joyce's television program, podcasts, magazine, books, and online content during a year when people needed it more than ever. Together, we broadcast the gospel in 104 languages through our Enjoying Everyday Life program. We were able to distribute, free of charge, more than 400,000 of Joyce's books. And we encouraged over 27 million people on social media. Through all of our worldwide outreaches, more than 95,000 people became Christians. Every statistic is a person that's encountered the love of Christ. Thank you for showing them that with God, new life is possible.